We finished up this. We made the forge. Now we're gonna make tongs. Because I have nothing to hold things when they're hot. And we're gonna make tongs. I don't know how. But we'll figure it out. Hey, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the show. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome to something. I can't really say welcome to the workshop. I know that's that's my thing I did when I streamed on Twitch, but on YouTube that's Alex Steele's thing. I can't say that's what he says. I can't I can't say that because we have patents and copyrights and words and phrases, right? No, that's not. Welcome to the goddamn workshop. You gotta take a look at this. Listen to this ring, right? This is noisy, 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 very annoying. This is all it takes, right? I have this piece of thick, heavy chain. I'm not attaching it, I'm not doing anything amazing. It just barely wraps around and touches all four feet of the anvil, and it's just lying there. That's all I'm doing. Just touching these four feet. Now listen to this. That's all it takes to deaden an anvil. It's not perfect, but partially perfect. It's much, much better. And the reason for this is that all you need to do in order to deaden an anvil is to touch down on these feet. Though when, when you hit a um, tuning fork, you know that it's like a pin that goes out in two, right? You hit it and the two points oscillate, they vibrate, and that creates the sound. It's the exact same thing with a, an anvil. The, the things that extrude out when you hit the anvil, they vibrate and that creates the sound. So stopping them from vibrating stops the sound. So and it's mostly the the four feet, and then it's uh, it's it's this section right here that you want to take care of. This is enough for me to to work on. I also want to buy a big. I've, I'm probably gonna go get some heavy uh, 130 kilo uh, uh, neodymium magnet and throw up underneath here because that takes the vibration out of this, and then that should be really really solid good. Um, deadened anvil. I thought you should. I thought you should know that and see just how little it actually takes sometimes. Because there's a lot of videos on YouTube that are like, oh, these big things like 20 feet of chain around and all sorts of stuff, rubber, silicone, padding, and shit like that. No, no, just lay some weight around the feet. It's it that can be enough. this a bit and then straightening up before going back into the fire okay I 
need to sort, there's this weird angle here I need to sort out if I can. I don't think that's much I can really do here. I'm just now starting to work on a sweat. Um, I've got like the basic shape of the pieces, so I need I need to kind of just make them neat, and then then we can try and drift a hole. I do have something that looks like a drift. I don't know if it's hardened steel or what it is, but we'll try and drift the hole so we can put a pin through. I also need to make a pin, but we'll figure that out later. Um, and then the reins, I can I can make them nicer later if need be. Uh, We'll have to see how this works out. I need to thin this out some more. You wear safety shoes. Whew. This is too warm to hold now, even, even with leather gloves on. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. But getting that heat to travel further down is really, really big. Because it, it makes the handle so hot you can't hold it, and that just becomes a shit show. Okay, let's try and get this in down. So, got the other piece here. Thin that down. Oh man, this is hot. I'm getting through the. Um, all of the stuff that was on the anvil uh, that I couldn't get off originally, um, the black oxide, that's coming off now with the anvil being worked. It's all as if it's coming back to life, you know? I'm beginning to get tired. But then again, I am also working this cold. That's why I had the glove on, that's because when I fiddle with them, I need a glove on. Okay, in terms of drifts, I've got two drifts. I've got this one that looks like a freaking bullet. Uh, becomes pretty wide, and then I've got this one. I think this is the one we use, but I also think this is soft steel. I have no idea though, but it is, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Right, we're setting up to actually uh, get this uh, punched out. We'll try, I don't know how the hell to hold this from between my legs. How do you do this? Like so? I cannot actually touch this thing, it's too warm. Yeah, I marked it. That's difficult. I, it's too warm to put between my legs as you usually would to hold it still, so I have no idea how to do this. 
can of course put it like this, that would help. A tremendous deal. Ah, still not good enough. It actually radiates enough heat that I can't... Oh, I'm burning myself now. See, that's... That's difficult when you don't have tongs. Or, or when you... How do you do that? Do you put it in the vise? What do you, how do you hold the thing as you're punching the hole? If you can't put it between your legs because it's too hot. Especially because these have a tendency to roll around a little bit. I'm not super happy about how this is turning out right now. Just about now. Just trying to straighten this out again. That's why you keep the long lens on, the tele lens, so the camera isn't close by. That touched on the uh, the leg of the uh, camera stand. As you're as it's falling over, your, your your reflex is to grab it, and you're like, no, 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 no. making a dent, so that's always something. This one is actually difficult, this, this is the one that won't put like lie down straight, right? It's gonna help it a little bit, give it a few notches, punches. So you have to be careful about not hammering your own fingers, not touching the steel, not dropping the steel and hitting the hole right, at the right place. That's too much coordination. At least the burner is working. Oh, don't put the hammer where you need to put your hot work. Oh, and now it's cold. Why the fuck is it doing this? Keeps want to turn over. Now that's good. Soon, maybe. I don't know how the hell it's getting. I guess it's getting super crooked, and I don't know how to fix that later. I can hereby conclude: this is not hardened steel. It is bent. Well, the, the chip might be, or was, now it's tempered. I think it's better to punch with this because it's sharper. I'm gonna try it. And by sharper, I mean pointier. And this... It keeps turning, you punch it a little, then it kind of becomes okay. It merged. We got the thing. Ah, there we go. And we also got room, so that's nice. Oh, get that right. And we're through here as well. Oh. There we go. Punch that out. Drifting is uh, difficult. I think you can say. I had such a nice shape beforehand. Now it's a ripe mess. Okay, I'm running low on batteries. We'll see how far I get to this. These are still very warm. But we managed to punch some holes. They don't line up. I, I get that. That's fine. But this is essentially what we what we got. So it's a li they're not quite the same length and shit like that. But hey. Uh, and, and it's actually one hole so far down, because I wasn't paying attention, that it actually can't close completely proper. Um, so I have to go in and do something about this notch right here. Um, 
and the reins are a little bit weird. It ended up being the correct kind of orientation anyway, so they lay, lay in my hand the way they're supposed to. I'm just curious about how the hell I make these clothes proper. Mm -hmm. They're still too warm to actually touch, even with the gloves. I need to clean them up a little bit. We have an issue with the punch pretty much moving the material into the pritchel hole more than so than punching the hole. I think that's just the first punch we used that's just simply not suitable for it. Um, either that or it's because I need to start punching the hole just on the flat anvil without a like whether well, something to back the material on the the back side. Um, but there's a bit of a it sticks out a little bit and we've got some other things we need to adjust to make these fit together nicely and the easiest way to make that happen is to do it with a grinder. I could fire up the forge and struggle with it and try to get it to all work together but that would simply be an exercise in futility um, and I need these to be functional this is not a practice piece I actually need these to work and so they need to be cleaned up and then I will figure out some way to put a pin in these probably with a screw or an old nail I'll hammer in there and see if I can't get them to work but uh, it's time to time to get the grinder going nicer, not much, just the holes that I punched and then made, I made sure that they should be able to close proper. You see they're, they're not the same length, we'll probably take care of that later at some point. Um, I think I'm gonna fire up the forge again, we're gonna take a nail, we're gonna put that in there. Plop this nail in here if we can. This is fiddly. Okay, we got it up to temperature. This is losing heat real fast. And my glove got stuck. So I'm gonna turn this around. Come on. Well, a practice run is always good. And then the hammer. You should probably just hold on to one of these, this one. I'm gonna try again. These gloves are making this almost impossible. This is actually nigh on impossible because the nail wants to bend, these wants to move off the angle, and the gloves are in the way always, whenever you have to do anything. I feel like this should almost be done cold, in order to help the integrity of the nail. Hey, that's just garbage. It's the next day. I, um, I've slept on it. I'm gonna... Um, do more adjustments to this. I want to. Um, I need. I need to make this thinner. I need to make it so that uh, these do not go as far out when when they are up together like this, because that's just going to make them really difficult to use. I want them to be further together. I don't know if you can see that, but I want them to be further together, like so. The reins, that is, um, and that requires drawing this out a bit more. And um, and kind of bending them a little bit or changing the shape a bit, and then I want to try the nail rivet 
once again. One more time I'm gonna try that and if that doesn't work I'm gonna take the uh, punch or drift, make the uh, hole larger and then just put a bolt in there. Uh, my only problem is that I have some, the bolts I have are fairly large. Um, so I need to make the hole bigger. But that's, that's what we're gonna do. Gotta get that thing fired up once again. The dogs are coming in here, they're kind of, they're peeking in and then, then they get a little bit nervous and then they leave. There's so much noise in here. Oh, look at this dog. Sometimes the flame goes away from the burner and then it's just kind of the metal burning and I have to then uh, heat, uh, fire it up again. And it's really fucking weird why it does that, I don't know why. And it'll do it randomly, it just did, it was burning fine and then it just changed and you can smell it because it stops burning all of the fuel so you, or, so you can smell the gas. Just need to straighten this out. Yeah, so now they're closed. They're closed like this, and we'll, the jaws and shit like that. We'll have to adjust that later, but I'm I'm okay with this. So these essentially have to go into the fire. Then we have to go over this edge, grab a hammer, and punch that flat. I'm maybe I can do it cold. It is just a nail, right? Not a nice sound. Okay, that works. Time to try and fix this. Well, that, I think that did it. Really that easy? Oh, that fucked up everything else. All right. We finished up the pair of tongs. Thanks for watching and following along. Uh, they are not the prettiest tongs. They are not winning any beauty pageants, but they do work. With a little bit of practice, I can pick up my hammer. Uh, so, yeah, it can be done. That's my first project. It's also hopefully going to be my ugliest project ever. Uh, but we'll see about that. I'm sure I'll have to adjust these once in a while because... Eh. And I'm also sure I'll be making a new pair of tongs as soon as I feel comf confident that I can make something that's better, prettier and more functional than this ugly ugly thing. But it works. There's a little bit of give in them, but it works. It's a good good thing. Now the question is, what am I what am I gonna make next? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Thanks for watching. And thanks for being subscribed and stuff. Yeah. We are blacksmith now. <laughs>